Hello everybody, we're going to open up Umbraco and take a look at a custom built property editor. Here it is, it is enabling our content creators to set a filter on an image. Right now it is configured to change the saturation. Let's take a look at some code. We are in the Umbraco package JSON file. And it is in here we will declare our property editor. Our property editor is of the type property editor UI. And what this means is that it, it is the UI side of a property editor. Then we have the schema, which is telling Umbraco what kind of data a property editor have and how it should save it to the server. Then we have a bunch of configuration. And in this case, it is three different toggles where we can enable and disable different filters. Then we have the element, which is the path to a UI element. This must be a web component. Let's take a look at our web component. In here, a lot of things are happening, but we're just going to talk about some of the most important parts. First of all, First of all, our value of our property editor will be set to the value property. In this case, I have written my own set and get methods. Then we have our configuration. To get the configuration of our property editor, we can get it through the config property. We can write config.getValue by alias, and then the alias as a parameter. Let's take a look at our data type real quick. You can see we have our three filters here, and I will just enable them all for now. Now all three are showing up. Another important thing when we have a property editor is when we have when we have a value that changes. We have to dispatch an event called property value change. It is a custom event and it can be written like so. This is a magic string, but you can also import the event from the back office package. So let's comment it out and see what happens when you don't dispatch the event. Let's change the value and save. And you can see that we, it did not save or changes. Let's dispatch the event now. You update again. Let's change the value. And this time it's, it's, it is aware of our changes and have them saved. That was it I will tell you guys. Thank you for listening.